Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try Bulb Boy. It's by Ashtam Games, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. It's got a Kickstarter with a $40,000 goal. It ends on July 27th, 2014. If you pledge $15 or more, you do get a digital copy of the game when it's released. It's going to be available for PC, Linux, and Mac. Also Android and iOS if the stretch goals are reached. And there is a playable demo available on the website. I'll have all relevant links, including the demo link, in the description below the video. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, this is a spooky point-and-click adventure game harkening back to older days of adventure game glory. So our brightness looks fine. So we have a very, very short demo. I've already played through it. And I'll be quiet for the intro. Okay, it looks like our grandfather, an old timey lamp, has been kidnapped by some mysterious black blob. So we are Bulb Boy. For whatever reason, we have a light bulb for a head, which probably has its perks, has its drawbacks. Seems like you'd be very fragile, but you can't unscrew your head and stick it in various places, which in itself can be very handy. Uh, up here you have your old-fashioned inventory where we, our items will be. Obviously, we don't have any right now. This is just your general options, which there aren't many of, which is understandable because this is just a demo of the game. Up here is just kind of a help. Kind of puts you to sleep and shows you, oh, we need to get to the door. Well, this is easiest adventure game ever because we just hit the door and the demo will be over. Thank you guys for what. Oh, well, I guess there's always got to be something. So we got this spider. He wants bugs. He is incredibly lazy. He doesn't want to grab them himself. So let's look around, and in a truly in true adventure game fashion, we will try to get the bugs for him. And it won't be as easy as just picking them up, I'm sure. So we're looking under the bed. I like this effect. I like the shadows. It's a 2D game, but it has interesting shadow effects. I like the music quite a bit. I like the atmosphere as all, overall. I think it's a really cool effect. And as with anything, or old adventure games, you can click on anything, the mouse cursor changes over, so we're going to try to grab that. We can't quite make it. And our bulbous head makes it too hard for us to get through. So we're just going to back out. I actually forget how to back out. How do I... Oh, okay. We just go to the bottom of the screen. If only there was some way we could get that bug. Something to reach with. Ah, a feather duster. Let's stick that in our pocket. All adventure games... All adventure game heroes have endless black holes for pockets. So let's go ahead and do our inventory screen. Select that and click on the bug. And we scrape up the delicious, delicious centipede. Centipede, yum. Anything in this closet? I like how he doesn't just do things normally. Like, he doesn't just turn around and look inside. He actually, like, spins his head around and takes it off and then puts it inside to look. I think that's a cool, cool look here. Oh, he's got a live wire. I'm sure nothing bad could happen from clicking that. Ah, it looks like it causes this light to short out. If only this bug would get close enough. Nope. All right, let's stop and wait for him to get a little closer. Come on, bug. What's the worst that could happen? Like this. Oh, just barely missed him. I actually got lucky my first time. I got him the first try. And I didn't even know what I was doing. He just happened to get over there. Try to get, get it. I wonder if he'll actually fly into it. Sorry, kid. You'll have to fry for just a little bit longer. Luckily, the wire shorted out right as I finish off the bug. What a fantastic coincidence. Let's put the bug in our pocket, as little boys like to do. And what's in our drawer here? Hmm, if I click... Oh, looks like the bug bug comes out that the spider wants. He probably wants this candy, I'm going to imagine. Let's, what happens if we move this matchbox? Oh, he definitely wants the candy. He's in love with it. Let me click the scissors. Let's click on this hole, scare him out. Oh, let's block him off so he can't get away. Block him off again. Uh, let's see, let's close the ruler. He could just walk over that, of course, because he's in a 2D world. He's eating the candy. Perfect time to grab him up. 
stick him in our pocket. Well, we'll just presume that we stuck him in our pocket. Let's just walk away now. Very scary, scary spider, apparently. But to most people, spiders are just scary. So let's give him the centipede first. Very hungry spider. Usually a centipede, I would think, would probably fill a spider up for a week. I'm not a spiderologist, but just a wild guess. All right, there's the ghost of fly. And we just have the beetle. And surely that'll make him happy and he will leave us alone. Well, that's kind of sick. So I guess that's a lesson to you all. Don't eat too many bugs or you'll explode. Limit your bug intake is the longest short of it. Well, that was an easy room to get out of. Oh, looks like we got a little bug. Oh. Looked like our little huggy toy. It's not what it once seemed. You can actually hug that toy. I forgot to click on it. And actually, that's it. The end. That is the end of the demo. Very, very short demo, but gives you an idea what to expect. The art style, the type of puzzles we'll probably be facing, music, scene, etc. Oh, hey, there's an Orco figure. Copyright. Somebody's going to get sued. Anyway, I like the I like what they showed. Obviously, they didn't show a lot. I like the atmosphere. I like the music. I like the art style. Again, it's it's hard to make you know a final judgment based on on that. I wish there was a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more, one or two more puzzles that took a little bit more thinking, a little bit more doing. Because, in my opinion, a lot of adventure games fall into that trap of, like, the really old school ones where you just, like, you tie a cat to a piece of bubble gum and have it bounce off a ceiling in order to unlock a door from the back or something really just outrageous like that and, like, illogical puzzles. And while those were fun for the time, I don't feel like they've aged very well. I think puzzles that make a little bit more logical sense are more fun. Uh, and I think a lot of more recent puzzle games try to go that route where it's not so ridiculous, like these ridiculous combination of items. You just basically click, click, click until something works. And then you just click to click to victory, basically. So I like to see if they're just going to go that route or if they're going to do something a little different. It's really hard to tell. I mean, from that it was definitely very adventure game 101 type of puzzle so we'll see what they do uh, if the kickstarter is successful I, again i will have links to the kickstarter and to the demo so you can give it a whirl yourself in the video descriptions thank you guys for watching as always like my videos if you like them make sure to leave comments uh, let me know if you've played this demo what do you think let me know if you actually supported it or if you didn't like it why didn't you like it i would like to hear that in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this showing off games you might not have heard of Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.